Hi everyone and welcome to our fifth weekly video update. We have a lot of great looking corn in the area, but today we'd like to discuss some issues that we've had many calls about. Wilt Building took the time out today to come and discuss some of those. Wilt, what are we going to talk about today? Thanks Mark. What we're going to talk about today is some of the issues that are causing some of that yellowing in the cornfields throughout Manitoba as well as locally here. Uh, talk a little bit about soil compaction and how that affects root development and then show you some, some examples of some dampening off which has been reported throughout Manitoba in cornfields. Great, let's get some samples and, and have a look. Wilt, as we were walking through the field, we've seen a couple of scenarios going on here. We're located in a field near Albany. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about uh, the plant you're holding? Sure, we did notice some of the plants leaning or laying on the top of the soil surface. And primar the primary reason for that is the compaction we're experiencing in this field. The soil is very, very compact and it's restricting the root growth, specifically the crown root development on the first node above the uh, kernel. Uh, in the example I'm holding here in my hand, you can see the very poor crown root development above this kernel, whereas in the sample Mark's holding, the crown roots have been able to grab hold of the soil and mine their way into the compacted soil. Um, wherever we found one lane, leaning over, uh, this is the primary cause. Those crown roots aren't really there to hold the plant up. Great. And would a timely rain help us out here? Definitely. Uh, anything we can do to soften the soil up, it is very, very firm uh, at the surface right now. Anything we can do to soften the soil up will help these crown roots develop and penetrate into the soil. Wilt, we've had a lot of calls in the last week about some of the fields or areas of the fields being yellow. Uh, it has gotten much better in the last 36 hours, but maybe you could comment on um, some of the effects uh, factors that influence the corn turning yellow. Sure Mark. Many of the fields within the provinces here actually did exhibit that symptomology of yellowing. Uh, essentially what it is is a function of the root growth and how it was delayed due to the cold wet soil, temp soil temperatures that we experienced throughout May and early June. Um, for the most part it doesn't necessarily mean the soils are nutrient deficient but we do sometimes see a little bit of nutrient deficient symptoms show up on the corn once again due to the lack of root growth. However when the temperature warms up the corn will recover and you can see this within this plant the new leaf is coming out nice and green when you compare it to one of the first leaves that is yellow and showing some symptoms of nutrient deficiency. So as the weather warms and conditions improve we will see corn grow through this symptom. That's a great point and it's probably why in the last day and a half things are uh, changing color nicely. All right, one other phenomenon we're noticing across the province this year uh, is a little bit of uh, seedling dampening off. Uh, this is an example of what we're talking about where the leaves are kind of wilting a little bit. And essentially what's happening is the seedling diseases, whether it's caused by Fusarium, Rhizoctonia, or Pythium, are overtaking the, the seedling, the young corn plant. So we are noticing this randomly in spots throughout the province. Wilt, one more thing. We'd like to maybe discuss how the uh, soybean development in next week uh, can play out. Sure. Uh, the soybean stands look very well this spring, very good this spring. Uh, however, we are noticing some of the earlier planted fields begin to yellow off a little bit. This is of no concern at this stage, as what's happening is the soybean plants have exhausted the soil nu nutrient supply, specifically nitrogen, and they've gone into the process of building the nodules to uh, produce that nitrogen themselves. So for a period of time, you'll see some yellow beans, but within 10 days, you should see those beans green up and continue growing to full production. Great. Thanks a lot for coming out, Will. Thanks, Mark.